Hi lads and lasses, welcome to Dark Sense Tips and Advice with Dynamite Dave. Uh, what I want to talk to you today about is Phil Taylor and um, his last season. He won the World Match Play last week and caused quite a bit of controversy amongst the Dark players and the media. Um, a lot of people were saying it was out of order what he was saying about Michael Van Gerwen and then you've got the other side, the Phil Taylor fans that were saying Michael Van Gerwen was out of order for what he did texting, uh, it was a bit unprofessional texting uh, Van der Voort halfway through a game not really a professional thing to do but you see the thing is, is this is how clever Phil is Phil picked up on that and used that as a weapon against him now we've talked about this in previous videos um, about the mental side of the game and um, this is exactly what happened the other night when he played Michael Van Gerwen in the World Match Play if you watch Michael Van Gerwen within I'd say two legs or three legs of them starting that match, Michael Van Gerwen was beat. He was beat mentally. Um, Phil Taylor just he, he, he wiped the floor with him. And he didn't do it on the dartboard. He did it mentally. And that's what Phil is. He's an absolute master of this game, of both sides of it. He's a master of playing the darts and is a master of the mental side of the game as well. He will do, if you watch Phil Taylor, he will do different things in different matches that he knows, he studied the people that he's playing and he knows what what gets to him and that's what he does. Some of them he over celebrates. You watch he over celebrates. Some of the matches he hardly celebrates at all. Even he, I've seen him when he's got a nine down and he hasn't really celebrated that much. And then I've seen him on other games where he's got 140 or he's took a big out shot out of 100 plus and he's, and he's done a big celebration and he knows that that is what gets to his opponent. And this is what Phil Taylor is, is an absolute master of the mental side of the game. And it's something that a lot of you can think you could, could learn a few things from. When you go out to play your matches, celebrating. There's nothing against it, there's no rule saying that you can't celebrate in any which way you want. When you've thrown the darts, until you've took the darts out of the board, that hockey belongs to you. And so if you want to do a tap down something down it, there's nothing nobody else can do about it. You're entitled to celebrate in whichever way you want. And this is what Phil does, is he thinks he mentally crushes his opponents. And a lot of people, before they even get on the stage with Phil Taylor, because of his reputation and what have you, are beat before they even start against him. And, and this is what Phil is a master of. Hopefully this is going to create some form of dis discussion. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget, thumbs up, like it, subscribe, Put some comments at the bottom, let's get a bit of a discussion going. Exactly the same on Facebook. If you're on Facebook, we might be on one of the darts forums uh, having a bit of a chat about it. Get some comments down, let's, uh, let's get a bit of a thing going. So, as I say, Phil Taylor, his last season, I think it's going to be something really to watch out for. And I think that this mental side that, he's, that he plays and is so good at, I think this will ramp up and up during the year. And I'm hoping, because as you can see, I'm a massive fan of Phil's. These are only three of the shirts that I've got. I've got many of his shirts. Um, hopefully, he'll go out exactly the same way as he's been playing. He's now the 17 times champion of the world. 16 times he's won the uh, world match play. It's his favourite venue. And he played it like he always does, like an absolute master. So thanks for watching Darts Hints, Tips and Advice with Dynamite Dave. And don't forget lads and lasses, as I always say, total to the hockey. You only ever get out what you put in.